Well, good morning. And first of all, as you said, it's the 10th quarter in a row where we post very strong performances, better than market expectations. And actually, to come to your point, the cost of risk is just 28 basis points, the same level than the full year. And actually, compared with last year, but last year was a little bit exceptional uh, with a very low cost of risk just after the COVID. So actually, the credit portfolio stands very well. We are very confident. And we give actually a guidance for 2023, which remains 30 to 35 basis points, so a low cost of risk going forward. So from a macro point of view, um, some economists are saying that we're seeing a soft landing potentially in the US and in Europe. This is concern around inflation. Have we peaked yet or not specifically in France? So what, what yeah. are you, what's your saying? It's really, I think uh, you, you, you are asking the right questions. The central scenario that we have had now for many months is that you said a soft landing, not a great growth, a zero plus, like in the US as well as in the Eurozone, but with no uh, catastrophe, we see a market, a labor market, which holds very well, and a uh, morale of the business community, which remains uh, pretty good. We should see in this central scenario inflation peaking and going progressively down, with also rates going down uh, from 2024 onwards. That's the central scenario. There's a lot of uncertainty which remains, let's face it. And you can have a scenario with higher inflation for longer and which could mean also higher rates going forward. So looking specifically at how it's affecting your business, looking at, French, at the French retail bank, for example, uh, revenue was flat, but net income was down 40% in the fourth quarter. So uh, French banks in particular, you benefit less of a rising interest rates. You have fixed mortgages in this country. The Livrea saving account is linked to inflation. So how do you see the picture and all this environment affecting this part of the business for you? You're right. It's really the business which does not benefit. Uh, we, we see a benefit in the Czech Republic, in Romania, in Africa. It's a very, very different environment. In France, we don't benefit immediately from the uh, normalization of the interest rate. And we pass money to our consumers to a certain extent. Uh, cap on, on, on the mortgage loan rates. Uh, as you said, regulated products which are remunerated immediately benefiting from inflation and interest rate. So. This year, we had a progression of the revenue, modest one, but nevertheless. It's fair to say in 2023, we expect uh, more pressure on the revenues because Livra will further go up. Uh, we have not benefited from a, a high production of loans. We were disciplined in the production of loans in 2022, but we expect a rebound in 2024. And actually, we confirm our objective for 2025. We should have a revenue higher than in 2022 in this French market and the profitability that we've given also to the market. So it's just a, a transition. The transition takes longer in this market, which is more demanding than others. Uh, your CIB has also been in transition. You've been repositioning your strategy there, de-risking from certain activities, and it seems to be bearing fruit. Revenue there is up 14%. Uh, percent. FIC, of course, benefiting from high interest rates. Uh, equity is suffering a little more, like we've seen at your competitors. Uh, how do you see your picture at CIB going forward? Well, we had a really a great fourth quarter, as well as uh, two years and a half of great performances after the repositioning that we made uh, uh, again in mid-2020. Uh, it's very successful. Uh, strong uh, growth of revenues, both from markets and financing, cash management, uh, low cost of risk, uh, big improvement in the cost income ratio. So we are positive there. Uh, the, the 2022 was an extraordinarily positive year with, if you wish, volatility. Uh, we'll see how it develops. Start of the year is fine. Uh, again, uh, we are very confident in the direction, the trajectory that we've taken.